Welcome back. You're watching IDFC First Bank Presents Leaders of Tomorrow Season 11. And right now we are in conversation with Liz Bior. Hi Rakesh, thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, thank you Ritvika, thanks for having me. So Lifpure has emerged as a prominent player in the water purification industry. In fact, you announced a 50% year-on-year growth for FY23. What factors do you believe are contributing to this growth and differentiation in the market? Right, Ritvika, so Lifpure has been around in the water purification market now for nearly a decade. And uh, we built this brand essentially on three founding uh, pillars, one of which is uh, product innovation and quality and deep manufacturing vertical integration. Second one is a well laid out service network across the entire country. And the third piece is our omni-channel and product as a service strategy, which is the digital uh, enablement of this business. And now we are seeing the fruits of uh, the enablement that we did in terms of the whole framework in, in the growth that we are experiencing. So last year we have experienced a 50% growth and we see something similar happening in terms of the similar range of growth for the next many years to come now. And uh, that will definitely catapult LivePair into being a consumer preferred brand for wellness and comfort. Rakesh, uh, LiftPure has established a strong presence in both online and offline retail channels. How do you navigate the challenges and opportunities presented by the retail landscape and what strategies have you implemented to effectively enhance retail presence? It's now consumers are increasingly demanding an experience, uh, you know, which is seamless across multiple channels of uh, go-to-market. So whether a consumer wants to see a product online and then maybe experience it offline in a retail channel or in, will go to a Reliance or a Chroma store to buy it or the other way around, consumers want to choose where they want to experience the product, where they want to discover a product or where they want to buy a product. So I don't think brands have any choice really but to have a comprehensive experience for consumers across multiple channels, whether they are digital or whether they are uh, the retail channels. And as LivePure, we have had an omni-channel strategy for the last six to seven years, and we have one brick at a time built our enablers on each of those different uh, channels, and we are bringing it all together through our digital presence uh, in terms of a seamless experience to consumers. A lot has been done, there is still work to be done and will continuously increase, improve and increase uh, effectiveness for consumers as they evolve, as their experiences evolve, as their expectations evolve. So Rakesh, uh, LiftPure has expanded its product portfolio beyond uh, water purifiers. In 2021, you ventured into the sleep and wellness vertical comprising mattresses, pillows, bed sheets and curtains and now you are also getting into uh, kitchen chimneys. Tell us more about this and what's driving this diversification. So LiftPure started out with the water purifier business and we started by selling products to consumers and then providing them after sales service. Uh, then somewhere in 2017, 2018, we invested in building a very deep technology capability around a smart homes enablement platform that we built over a three year period uh, that technology platform now enables LiftPure to come out with smart appliances and differentiated business models uh, for consumers in multiple categories. We uh, brought this smart home capability and the water purification capability of LiftPure together and started water as a service business back in 2018 and today you know we are uh, clearly the market leader in that segment of converting 
you know, the water purification, water consumption from bottled water to uh, water purifier, purifier at a home, at your home, which is running like a service. And this has proved to be very, very, uh, uh, you know, preferred way of uh, water consumption by a lot of uh, young people mostly. Uh, we are seeing more than, uh, you know, more than doubling of the, ins you know, paying customers every year, even in the seven or eight cities where we are largely present today. Now we are expanding that service outside the top cities into many other tier two towns as well. So on water purification as a service, we innovated a new business model and now it has become a fairly significant uh, part of our uh, revenue stream. Almost 30% of our water purification revenue now comes through product as a service model. We've also uh, added adjacent categories. So smart air cons is another category. Now we are entering, uh, you know, the kitchen uh, uh, appliances segment mainly with uh, kitchen chimneys and uh, air purification in the kitchen uh, because that's a place where housewives who are our core customer base spend a lot of their time and the water purifier sits also in the kitchen and we have a natural place as a brand in the kitchen and we are now starting to get ready very very soon for uh, for a launch you will see that happen on the online platforms uh, in the coming quarter itself as a leading name in the industry what do you believe are the big ideas or the trends that will impact the smart home business and also how is Lifty preparing to address them so one big trend is Consumers are increasingly looking for sustainability, uh, reuse, uh, product as a service rather than product as a product. But we see that in the next three, four, five years, sustainability will become at the front and center of a brand's uh, choice by consumers. Our strategy has been to build a good core technology platform around IoT, smart devices and uh, artificial intelligence and cloud technologies brought together in a way that we own the platform and hence at a very optimal cost points we can create connected home appliances that we can then manage for improving energy efficiency for reducing uh, the footprint uh, that for making sure that we can create models where consumer who doesn't need to own a product can use it as a service. Well, it was great chatting with you, Rakesh. Thank you so much for being with us on the show today. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. With that, it's a wrap on this edition of IDFC First Bank Presents, Leaders of Tomorrow Season 11. We hope you enjoyed the conversations. Thank you and goodbye.